two two Well, how are y'all doing? I hope you all are doing fantastic. I've got some reviews today, and I'm going to do a review on a Tintin comic book. That's right. So we have here a Tintin comic book. Wait. All right. So I think, yeah, I, I, I'm going to do two Tintin comic book reviews. Yep. That's the second Tintin comic book, and this is the first. So today it's gonna be two Tintin comic book review. So let's get the cutter, the trusty rusted cutter. Let's start with this one, the small one. Let's see what it is. Which Tintin comic book is it? Let's try to open it. Uh, by the way, I ordered both of these books from eBay. Alright, let's get the Caesar. And as you know, eBay packages are pretty difficult to open, you know, compared to Amazon book packages. Alright, so here we have it. It's Tintin in America. Never mind that. Yep, Tintin in America. I'm gonna get to this book in a while. Let's open the second comic book. Let's take the Caesar and open it. This is gonna be quicker. So let's see what we've got on this and this one. Very well packaged. Let's cut it again. Right. Sometimes, you know, eBay overdoes things, and it is difficult to open eBay packages as it is. And then this overdoing of packages really takes the biscuit. All right, so we've got another Tintin in America. This time it's a collector's edition. I mean, this is like a special Tintin edition. As you can see, Tintin in America, but this is like really exclusive Tintin America. So, yeah. So I'm gonna explain what's going on here. And this Tintin in America is black and white. Okay, I'm gonna explain what's going on, okay? So this Tintin here, uh, let's try to move this aside for a while. I'll bring that in in a while again. So this Tintin, this Tintin comic book is an original that was published, was published back in 19, in the 19, 30s or 1931 to be precise. So Herge, the Belgian comic artist, drew Tintin in America back in 1930s. So this edition, this uh, this comic book that I have on in my hand was actually republished in 1995. So this is a 1995 edition, and this is the first Tintin in America drawn by Herge. So it's a pretty rare collection because you don't get to get this on eBay or Amazon and even if you do it's almost a hundred dollars you know sometimes it crosses the hundred dollar mark and it goes to hundred and ten hundred and twenty dollars I got this at a special rate with discount so so this Tintin in America is mostly black and white so this is like a black and white edition of Tintin in America because this was drawn in the 1930s and at that time color printing was pretty expensive or not available or even if it was available it was pretty difficult to produce proper color printing so yeah even though this comic does have some 
color art like this one a faded color art which was added later on after I guess 1945 so, but these art these exclusive artworks are pretty cool this adventure is an adventure where Tintin the comic book hero Tintin with his dog Snowy goes to America and he has an adventure there so this is actually Chicago the city of Chicago that's where Tintin comes to America and this is Chicago in the 1930s yep they had tall skyscrapers back in the 30s here in America so he goes to America and then he has this adventure this super cool adventure with the Americans including the Native Americans and some Chicago mobsters you know gangsters and western cowboys and everything so everything is inside this adventure you gotta read it if you want you can actually read this and this edition this special edition Tintin America the hardcover edition and they have some other editions other other adventures in this edition uh, this is much more fun than the original edition which one is the original edition or the one that we all know of this one this Tintin in America this is the one that we know of this is the one that I actually read when I was a kid so this Tintin adventure is the one that is common or Tintin America which everybody knows about this Tintin America is pretty rare but this adventure is more fun to read and more it has more pages I mean it is really thick you know it's like very very thick and almost double the adventure Tintin has and he has a lot of fun in it you will keep on reading it you know and you'll keep getting fun out of it absolute fun and this uh, Tintin it was redrawn and colored and republished back in 1945 and this Tintin that I have here is a condensed Tintin the smaller version of Tintin this was published back in 2013 only I got this to make a comparison with uh, this edition the special edition that I just got so yeah I'm gonna enjoy both uh, this small Tintin edition actually explains what Hershey did to come to the conclusion of this Tintin America adventure how he got to do research with the native Indians you know and how he actually got to America in 1971 only yep he will, he never visited America but he drew America in his comic book in back in 1930 by doing some research going to museums you know uh, paying attention to detail reading news of uh, current events and America especially in the newspaper that's how I came up with the adventure of Tintin in America so yeah this is Hergé in his young life you know when he was young so this is actually a fantastic comic book according to me I really love reading Tintin comic books I hope you guys will enjoy reading Tintin comic book and I hope this Tintin comic book review was really good for you I hope this was uh, different from the other reviews all right stay cool everybody and stay fantastic oh yeah